Hello and welcome to this video series on 802.11ax Next Generation Wi-Fi by Extreme Networks. My name is Devin Aiken and I will be facilitating this very technical, uh, rapid moving uh, series of videos. We're calling this one Under the Hood. So without further ado, let's jump right in. The agenda for this comprehensive video series is the physical and Mac layer functionality of the 802.11ax5, which is the next generation uh, physical layer of Wi-Fi. We're going to cover functionality, implementation, and expectations in a course of four videos. Each video will be between 20 and 30 minutes long. Uh, video one is going to cover uh, the high level of what is 802.11ax exactly. We're going to cover some of Wi-Fi's existing issues so that you understand the purpose of 11AX. We're also going to cover a little bit about how orthogonal frequency division multiplexing works. This is the current technology we've been using since 11A and of course 11N and 11AC are built on top of it. And we're also going to cover how we currently achieve efficiency in today's networks prior to 11AX. Moving on to video two. We're going to discover how OFDMA, that's Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiple Access, uh, works. That's kind of the core technology of 11AX. Understand how that works and why that's good, how it gives us uh, better efficiency and better system-wide throughput and better per-client throughput. So OFDMA uh, frame exchange processes can be quite complex. We wanted to give some samples there, uplink and downlink, and help you understand uh, things like uh, buffer sounding and things like this. Uh, so uh, this, if you do a lot of frame exchange or, or uh, packet captures and things like this, uh, frame exchange analysis, uh, this section will be super helpful. Video three is going to cover some of the additional uh, 802.11ax enhancements. There's many enhancements in this new PHY. Some of them we are certain are gonna bring value and some of them we're certain are not gonna bring value. And then there's lots in, right in the middle that we're just not sure about yet. Um, the equipment is just now coming to market and so uh, we haven't had a chance to really do a lot of lab testing uh, with lots of different clients and so on. So we have high hopes for many components within this new uh, physical layer. Uh, we're also going to cover a little bit about 11AX throughput. There's a lot of already a lot of misinformation, misunderstanding about what 11AX does and uh, what it gives you. And on top of this, I've already heard such nonsense as uh, the need for uh, dual 2.5 gig uh, Ethernet ports or dual 5 gig ports on uh, access points uh, that are 11AX capable. And that's just simply not true. So we're going to explain why that's not true and help you understand the math of how this works. In video four, we're going to talk about some unproven features, ones that uh, there's a lot of hype around. We Some we have high hopes for, some we don't, and we'll cover some of that. 11AX has some challenges. We want to talk about the most major challenges, and the, certainly it has its Achilles heel, if you will. And then when should you upgrade it? You know, people are in different situations, different organizations are in different situations and just running out and buying it for no apparent reason doesn't make a lot of sense. So uh, let's discuss different situations and how upgrading to 11AX uh, now or later would benefit you. 